Mona Ekmed is a living taboo. If I had another life, then I would just pray to God and ask him to make me either a complete man or a complete woman, and not a mixture, not an in-between. This life is no life. Mona belongs to a group known in India as Hydras, or eunuchs. Indians consider Hydras to be an entirely separate gender. Like most eunuchs, Mona was born physically male, but in her heart, she felt very different. From the soul that is within me, I have always felt like a girl, and I have never considered myself a boy. To find a place in society, Mona embraced her only real option. She joined the eunuchs. Mona had her male sexual organs completely removed. She was physically transformed. Body hair vanished, her voice changed, and she developed breasts. And for 40 years, Mona made her living the only way a eunuch can, by singing and dancing at weddings and birth celebrations. In India, more than half a million eunuchs live on the fringes of society. Over time, they forge their own families with values and rules of conduct. <coughs> Today, Mona is going to visit her eunuch family. She's partly supported by her two disciples, Nergis and Sonam. We don't have any children of our own, so these are our children. The trio scouts the streets, canvassing for work and jesting with potential customers. <laughs> After a bit of searching, they hit pay dirt. A young couple has yet to receive the blessings of a eunuch. They're believed by many Indians to possess the power to both bless and curse. There is power in their blessings. Even prayers to God aren't as powerful as the blessings of the eunuchs. Sonam attends to the customary blessing while Nergis and Mona joke with the family about future children. <laughs> Mona dreams of a day when Indians see her as more than just a eunuch, but a complete person. I wish everyone would consider us as humans and not think of us as a third sex. Why should they do that? Until that day, India's eunuchs will continue as they have for generations, living taboo lives, singing, dancing, and surviving.